In the morning of November 23rd, I posted a reel complaining that we paid $10,000 for a full self-driving feature and it's been six months and it hasn't been activated yet. Guess what happens in a couple of hours? Elon Musk posts on Twitter that everybody who purchased full self-driving was getting it that day. And we got it. Coincidence? I don't think so. So today we're going to find out whether it was worth $10,000 and worth waiting for six months. Let's do it. The whole thing about full self-driving is that the car is going to drive by itself, even on a small road, even on a road like this, you know, in the middle of nowhere. And we actually put in Safeway um, in the navigation system. So it is supposed to bring us there. Hear the turn signal sound? I did not switch it on. Tesla did it. Okay, we stopped at the crossroads. We have a bicycle, we have several cars. It stopped, it let the car go because it was there first. And it went, oh my God. It did the whole four-way stop intersection by itself. This is crazy. Okay, I put 19 miles an hour because I was so scared. Let's do 25 miles an hour, which is our speed limit here. I'm sorry, guys. I am testing our autopilot. I'm not gonna go over. Oh, okay, it asked me for, uh, for hands on the wheel. Tesla gives you a whole steering wheel alert every one to three minutes to let the car know you're still here and in control. And you can either put some pressure on the wheel or scroll this little button. The first time I actually tried autopilot on a Tesla was back in 2018. It was a funny... Where are you going? Yeah. It was back in 2018. We rented a Tesla. It was so funny. We rented it on Turo. So today we're going to try Tesla Model X. So excited! Oh my god! Slow down! It was actually Andre's car, and Andre is the founder and the CEO of Turo. So that was our first experience driving Tesla on autopilot, and I, I was behind the steering wheel, and uh, my husband switched on the autopilot for me, and I was freaking out because it, it is kind of scary when the car drives by itself especially on a highway when it's 65 miles an hour. And I'm still freaking out right now because there are so many people, like we are in this kind of residential area, a lot of people are hiking and there are a lot of bikes. So I, I really like the, the person that I trust the most behind the wheel is, is me. And whenever it's a robot, it's kind of scary, but it is cool. Guys, the future is here. It drives by itself, like I'm doing nothing i'm just freaking out and switching off autopilot when i'm too scared which is totally unnecessary if you can own only one car uh, for 140k i still think that mercedes s-class for example is probably the better car uh, because right now autopilot is still like a good fun feature but you still use it like three five percent uh, of your driving time because you want to be in control sometimes you want to go faster uh, and it's like autopilot still very slow and very careful so uh, yeah but well but the quality of Mercedes it's unprecedented compared to Tesla and you can experience this every second of your trip so for now it's still S-Class but once autopilot will be even better than now and it will of course will just a question of time so and, and if Mercedes uh, won't have the same like great level of autopilot till then so yeah it's it's the, the, the choice will shift to Tesla. If you ask me if I had 140k to buy a car and do it again, would I get a Tesla? Or Because my comparison was always, I always wanted to get an S-Class just because of its quality. And oh my God, it's the, the, the Yoki wheel is going crazy. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, that car is actually still a dream car for me, the, the S-Class. But I just see how autopilot makes my life so much easier. And I don't really, like at this stage, I don't really care that much about the quality and luxurious seats because especially when I have two kids in the back and one of them starts crying or something or they ask, like there's a small screen in the back and they ask me for a cartoon or there is an ad popping up because I have autopilot, I can always switch it on and switch on the cartoon for them. I have free hands. This is a very subtle thing, but when you drive on autopilot, your mind is more relaxed. You know how you start thinking about things when you're driving, when you get all the philosophical thoughts? Now, when you're on autopilot, your thoughts are even deeper because you don't have to think about turning or whatever. You just need to think about making sure that the autopilot is on and it doesn't switch off because your hands are off the wheel. But I love thinking when I'm driving. I love, I love listening to podcasts because on autopilot, I have more brain capacity because I don't have to control the movement. I think it's super cool. So if you ask me, 140K, I would now with the full self-driving, I would get this car. 100%. The charging, the autopilot, does it mean it's a perfect car? I don't think so because it still has all the bugs. Sometimes the doors wouldn't close. You can still hear this squeaky sound that they couldn't replicate at Tesla service, which, you know, it's really hard to not be able to replicate it. Our speed is 22 miles an hour right now and you can hear it. The quality. But again, Tesla is not about quality, it's about Fuck. the tech. <laughs> That's tough. It was very bad braking. It was bad braking. What's your perfect car though? My perfect car is a <laughs> Maybach with a driver. <laughs> That's the perfect combination. And like a longer Maybach so we can have all the kids. Uh, There's only one version of Maybach. You're asking for the perfect car. It doesn't. It also doesn't come with a driver and money on your bank account to pay for all of that. So the per in the perfect world, I'm driving a long Maybach with a driver. But like, if okay, if, if we want to be realistic, yes, that was the question. Still, this one. This is not perfect, but it's the best out of everything that's on the market because it has this autopilot feature. The main takeaway is the power of one man's idea. That's incredible. Like Elon decided to do that like a long time ago and now a lot of people doubt that, but yeah, we live in the future right now. So you can just sit, relax and the car will do everything for yourself. So. Thanks to him, right? Yeah, I mean, um, it's not only one disruption, also it's electric and he like accelerated this transition to electric cars. So yeah, it's very inspiring for um, humanity I think so um yeah just create that was it for me for today guys I think it's amazing it's mind-blowing thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end uh thank you Elon thank you all the engineers at Tesla this is amazing this is game changing this is our new life and this is the future if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please hit the red button down below and uh, see you soon in the next videos bye